All right, in this video, we start riding the shallow. First thing off the bat, I forgot the weight belt here. This is one of the worst um, SBR I can forget. So I dropped my gun here. Pick it up. First fish I see here is a Rodri. Working in the shell. And I see a couple of small booms right there. Keep swimming. Over here there's a logic right on top of the rock. Aim, shoot, and miss. That's another, one. That's another field worker which is um, illegal to speed here in New South Wales. Only allowed two uh, on the line. No speeding. Continue along and I spot. A red block not more long here swimming on my left hand side. Turn around aim and shoot. And there you go, another miss. Right from the top, let's look at that part. Go down. So here is the next best thing that can happen is snapping. Taken into consideration, this is a rubber gun. I load it using one rubber, and right off the bat, that's another red mark on there. That's another massive moron, probably 50 centimeter there. Just went into the kelp to hide. Continue along, and I'm going into the shallow. This is uh, a school of mullets there. There were some really big Ludricks lurking around. Continue swimming along. That's another big Ludric there between the cult. And I'll call it a day. You! This is the end of the dive, guys. My favorite location here. Water still freezing cold with a three three mil suit and had to call it early because one of the rubbers on my speed gun got snapped. Need to fix that for another day. You important part of a speed gun. Put down in the comments below what do you think it is. The most important part of a roller head speed gun was left home. Had to pack everything back in the bag. Flo haven't even touched the water. Took everything out of the bag, laid them down on the rock, realized that I forgot that part put her back in the bag, going back to the car to grab my fishing rod and come down. And there's a lot of bus stops over there. That's a couple of metal jeeps around this area and then we'll call it a day. Plan your bus stops here, let's head to our By the time we get to the zone, come back. That's the bus stops here. That's a short one.
much over there. Turning this paper session into a very competing session. We'll go in this area. Let's give it a try. Let's head towards the walk over there. Keep our eye on any bus stops, any birds around. We'll do a dozen cars tea around this corner and then we go we go to the walk over there. You can see them there. What are they? But can we get to them? Let's go. Let's try. Let's go and try. Oh, can we try from here? Can we try from here? And if we can't. Oh, they're too far. No, I don't think I can get to them. Too far. I'm going to try as far to get there as far as I can. See how far. I'm getting even closer. We're close. Here they are. Here they are. Right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, he goes. Come on, guys. Come on. No. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's see where you are.
Nothing? Oh man, look at them! They're not eating! Not hitting the buggers. Can't get closer than that. Where they are now. Look how fast they're moving. They are right there. Um. Lots of bait fish here. I don't know what they are though. I'm not hitting on the metal tube. See, in the middle of them. Right in the middle. Nice. Nice fish.
My stuff's on, it's still there, you can see them where the birds are. You can see them clearly there. Okay, so now we're going to change this to a blackfish rig. Let's see what we've got in the bag. We've got no float. We've got everything for the blackfish except a float. So I moved to this rock here, fish and weightless, since I could not find a float to fish with. Set him on the rock, drop it right under me. This rock normally uh, gets fully submerged when it's a high tide. Now it's a, the lowest tide. Um, get some nibbles, stay persistent, watch the tip of the rod, feel the nibbles, and then one pull, followed by a strike in a moment. And the first fish is the very common fish that lives around kelp and most of the spirits see it. Very delicious fish. White flesh, it is a leather jacket. This one sits in the pool right in front of me and gets released towards the end of the video. Continue casting right under me. Still weightless, no float. Lots of nibbles. Was hoping to get another leather jacket on board so I can take him home and fillet him. Unfortunately, this next fish is not a leather jacket. Instead, it was one of the most beautiful fish that you can find in the salt water. And they do eat green cabbage. And I've caught so many of them before. It's the crimson wrasse. It gets released straight away. These fish are very slimy and slippery. And they also have very nasty teeth. So you've got to be careful when handling them. Third cast, right on the ledge under me, get some nibbles, this time I wait for it the first time, it pulls, try to strike, then it pulls again and I strike, and it was a bigger fish, I felt the weight of it, retrieved it, right up me there you can see it. Hey, another nice one. Oh, oh guys. Put one. Put one little jacket and another big one lost. And I'll see you on in another video. Just got snapped. Two.